Babe? Babe? Babe, where are you? Oh, there you are. Why didn't you say anything? Isn't it too early for bed? Hey, did, uh, did something happen? Because you're lying like this and you're quiet, just looking in one direction. Hey, what's going on? It's definitely not nothing. You know I know you. Come on, tell me. I can tell something's bothering you pretty heavily. Was it something I did, or... Are you sure? Maybe I said something and... Okay. Is it... Is it the memories again? Kind of? Ah... Uh. I see now. Yeah, I know how that feels. It sucks. I used to go through it before I recovered. Maybe going out to a place with this many people was a bit too soon. Uh-huh. No, no, babe. Don't say that. You're not pathetic. You're just traumatized. It's not your fault. I know your history. You've told me all about it. You don't need to apologize. If anything, it was my fault. I was so happy to go out after you agreed to it that... Well, I didn't even think for a second that you could be pushing yourself just to satisfy me. Yeah, yeah, that's true. You need to battle yourself sometimes in order to overcome this anxiety. But I don't want you to feel pressured because of me or anything. I said I'd wait patiently. And I will. I said I'll support you. And I will. You know why? Look at me. No, no. Look at me. Please. You know why? Because I love you. More than anyone and anything else in this world. And I'm here to stay by your side. I remember what it was like getting bullied. I remember all those cruel kids. I know how hard it is to overcome the fear of other people. How hard it is to trust anyone again. I was once like you. And I hated going outside. In fact, I only did it when I had to. And you know what? I even thought the same way as you do. I thought that I was worthless, pathetic, useless. But then someone helped me. You know what they told me? They said that being like this is not pathetic. But not trying to recover and giving up is. And believe me. I had the same initial reaction as you're having right now. They're just saying that because they didn't go through what I did, is what I thought. I thought, okay, maybe it's fixable. 
But in my case, nope. It can't be fixed. And that's wrong. It can. It's not easy. It definitely takes a lot of time. But with my help and a little bit of motivation, I believe we can do it. Together, as a team. I want to help you walk through it. And I know, people like me and you, we are masters at overthinking everything. I know, you're probably thinking that maybe I'm just saying that. Or, alright, cool and everything, but she'll probably not wait forever. And what if I'm not progressing at all, and oh my god. Listen. I don't want you to worry about anything like that. Our bond is one of a kind. I wouldn't replace it for anything. Besides, you may think I'm super social now because of how well I'm dealing with people, or rather, how good I make it seem. But believe me, I'm still going through it in certain situations. And the trust issues are still there. You're the only person I really trust. And that's because we know so much about each other already. So I don't want you to ever go there, okay? Don't think so little of me. And remember, there's no pressure. Because... While it's true that I like going out now and everything, it's not to the point that I can't live without it. Home is still the most comfortable place for me. And it probably always will be. What do you think? Can we do it? As a team? You and I? <laughs> Come here, babe. Give me a hug. Let's just take a moment, okay? We don't need to do anything else right now. Just be here together. I've got you. Huh? Oh, you don't have to say anything if you don't want to. Just know that I'm here and I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> See, I just caught you overthinking something again. It's okay, baby. Just ease up a little. <laughs> I know, I know. Easier said than done. But just trust me. I like this. Mm. Mm, babe? I love you. <laughs> <laughs> 